Greetings, friends, family, and survivors. I'm just setting up the diesel generator a little different. And I bumped up the pot for the voltage just a hair. And I've always had the cycles up a little bit, so when I'm under full load, it's good. Because I usually only run the generator when I'm charging. So you see 124 volts there, cycles at 62. So let's bump this up to 20%. See how the voltage likes it. Oops, that won't do any good. And those fall out. Alright, we're at 24 volts. So let's charge it where I usually do. Put her up to 60. Here's the generator load. Increasing the current. like about 68 amps so now my voltage sag is only 119 which is better I was going down to 113 and I'm at 59.8 need a cameraman I'm at 59.9 very close to it which is good in the voltage range 119 and I think this charger, the uh, inverter charger, is going to like it better. Uh, it's not that critical on the cycles, but the voltage sag is an issue, and it isn't mine if I have it first start out at 124 volts. But when I'm under load, as you can see, it's at 119. So let's increase this. Go back to setup. Charge rate, 80%. And the fan kicks on by default at the higher charge rate. sagging to 117 rather than 113 and the cycles are at 59 I can live with that most of the time the charge is 60 Sixty percent, fifty nine point eight at one hundred and eighteen point nine volts. I like it. It's gonna get noisy in here, so you might want to turn your volume down. I'll go in and point to a really good uh, generic ADR. Uh, I bought a spare one when I bought this one and some governor springs, so I've got stuff to rebuild that end of it if something goes south. But I'll point to it in here, it's gonna get very loud. I've mentioned before the diesel generator is it's rated for 3,000 watts at 8,000 feet elevation in extreme weather and that's the diesel part uh, will handle the 4,000 watt load and the generator head will handle 4,000 watt load so typical of military stuff they derate it so it's called a 3,000 but 
uh, surging to 4,000 isn't an issue. Now when I'm charging the batteries, that little generator is also running the house. Because just as soon as the inverter charger sees AC power coming in, it switches over, uh, stops inverting, and starts charging the batteries that it sees and passes the generator power straight through to the house. So that little generator has to charge this battery bank and it has to charge or supply power to the house at the same time. So this gives you a little bit easier way of seeing how many watts I'm using. So 1,999 watts, so almost 2,000 watts are going into the batteries and that lives a leaves a 2,000 watt surge to run the house and if both refrigerators were running at the same time um, it still wouldn't even be uh, a thousand watts so there's plenty of surge it's when the vacuum cleaner starts uh, which would push the generator up to a 4,000 watt load but that's usually only three or four minutes and the microwave might be for a minute or two, same thing, that's only for a couple of minutes, so um, that would push it up to its, its max. And so the nice thing about these is it's a power factor corrected uh, charger. And that means you can hook up just about any kind of AC generator to it and then adjust the amount of current that you want to go to your batteries and so if I had a thousand watt generator excuse me uh, a 1k generator thousand watt generator uh, you could charge your batteries with this you'd just be turning your charge rate down and so what this inverter charger does is it analyzes the AC power coming in it looks for um, the proper voltage it looks for um, the right cycle and it also looks for AC ripple and if it sees things that it doesn't like it's going to protect its downstream uh, liabilities by remaining in inverter mode if it's convinced that the generator is putting out clean enough power it'll switch over if the generator starts to get overloaded and the voltage starts to sag there's a setting here where you can adjust right here the voltage AC dropout and I think I've got mine set pretty low because if the vacuum cleaner started at the same time the trash compactor started it might momentarily drop down as low as 100 volts and so if it does that this thing will stop um, it'll stop sending power to the house from the generator and it'll assume that responsibility with the inverter and then once the AC voltage comes back up that it sees coming from the generator it'll go ahead and switch back over so this thing protects your generator from messing your house up it's biking a computer or uh, uh, smart TV or something like that. Picture this thing as a um, as a giant UPS that's uh, customizable. So I have my AC dropout set at 100 volts AC and that'll probably never happen but if it does um, it'll just switch over. So I think uh, I think charging what I do with this one, explain a little bit. That's search watts. If I adjust this, it'll send a pulse out to its loads. And if it recognizes a load, the inverter will start. Well, since I have little digital controllers and stuff in the house that have to be running all the time, I just let this thing stay on. So low battery cutout for me, when it sees 24 volts, it quits, it turns off. And then battery amp hours, in my case, I'm 360. Battery type, um, uh, custom. Absorb voltage, 24.4. Float voltage is 24.4. And equalizes, excuse me, 28.4 and equalizes 28.4. So, through 
those again for you. And then the next one is the charge rate, which you've seen, and then the VAC dropout. So that's the beauty of these uh, Magnum inverter chargers. You can put a real big generator on it, or you can put a real little generator on it and still charge your batteries. There's, I believe there's also a setting where um, you can have it pass through without charging your batteries. So if your battery bank was down for maintenance and you wanted to start your generator, this little button right here turns the charge off. So it allows power to just pass right through. So I hope that helps somebody. I had a couple of questions on these lately. And it's been five and a half years since I set up the AVR SX460 automatic voltage regulator on that Yanmar um, diesel generator. MEP16. 016D, I believe, is the model. Alright, that's probably enough boring generator stuff. Hope you're having a blessed day.